We just had a really fun day at the zoo. Hold on, let me turn the air off. It's so hot. And I just pulled into a very familiar parking lot at the hospital where I delivered you, bud. He's back there eating Cheetos. Um, and since I was just gonna pass by on the way home, I figured, you know, we went and we got some food together and hung out and he's coming with me to my appointment, even though he probably will fall asleep in the stroller. This is the confirmation of pregnancy visit. They're gonna probably take a urine sample and maybe do blood work. I don't know what to expect. I know they're not doing an ultrasound today, but this is basically like getting me in their system for future appointments. But there is like still a little part of me that's like nervous. I don't know why. Um, you know, everything is, is normal. Nothing has gone wrong. Um, so let's go in. Are you ready, dude? I can't believe I'm bringing you with me to appointments that I used to go to for you. That's so cool and exciting. And I love you so much. So this is just, this is wild. Hey bud, this is where we walked out with you. You were delivered and we came out here. Remember? <laughs> Remember? No. Wash his hands in the bathroom too because he likes to play in water. What do you think he's gonna say? Guess what, bud? Guess what? <laughs> I mean, I knew it would be because I could feel it and I took tests, but it is positive. You ready, bud? Green! Green! <laughs> Two weeks, I gotta come back here. We'll come with Dada and uh, they will confirm. And they will confirm that it is a viable pregnancy, which is kind of scary. It's like two weeks of waiting to hear that information. Oh. Uh oh, did you drop something? Oh. Oh. You're dropping stuff on purpose, dude. There you go. So it's a two week waiting game for that, and uh, I'm just excited, nervous, and excited, and still like processing it. But I'm really, I like talk to my, my stomach. I talk to my belly, and I'm like, hey, how you doing? Doing good in there? Stay strong. Here's my new appointment for an ultrasound in two weeks. Huh? See that little heart beating? Should have already started by now. I remember seeing yours at six weeks. I got, I got to see yours even sooner. All right, let's go home. So we went to our music class this morning. It was really cute. He had some amazing dancing skills. Dance. Good dancing, bud. Orange. Orange. Good dancing. And then today there was just for some reason this like farmer's market thing going on. And I, I got this jar of pickles and it's like zesty and I'm, I had to open it. No patience, no chill. I'm in the car and I'm like, mm. oh my God, <laughs> it's the best thing I've ever tasted. Don't worry. I got him cookies and he had a sample cupcake. I didn't film it because my hands were full of all the things I was buying that I probably shouldn't be spending money on right now. But um, I needed this for sure. <sighs> we're having a good time. <laughs> Seven weeks and something today. First ultrasound is, so this is Saturday and my ultrasound is Tuesday. I'm really excited. I hate that I've had to wait this long because I got my uh, first ultrasound with him six weeks and one day into it. And I'll be eight weeks, I think, in a couple days. I don't know exactly, but I'm excited and very nervous. But I'm trying to get out of my head about it and just look forward to the relief that I will definitely feel. Cheers, cheers to that. <sighs> so good. Uh, he is my son, he likes pickles. Uh, hey, cheers. Can you say cheers? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> you can't put that back. Look, my baby's getting pickles and my, my baby's getting pickles. No. You can't put that back in here now. Uh, Thank you. That whole pickle was in his mouth. That's fine. Is it good? Is it good? <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ready? Set? Go. Go! All by yourself. What a big boy. Good job. Like a salmon returning to his 
Homeland. The baby is back at the hospital where he was born. He came here with me when I did my um my P test to like tell me I was pregnant that I already knew. <laughs> I'm like really nervous and I'm not gonna cry, so let's just go. Alright, we're just gonna go. Alright, buddy. Last time mommy was in here, it was to do your anatomy scan. I remember seeing your little foot and your little profile. Your toes. Why is it Yeah, and look how cute you turned out. I remember this room. And now look how big you are. Oh, it's a car. That's a car. <laughs> nice shirt, babe. It's accurate now. <laughs> so today it says baby is the size of a raspberry. So we'll get to see. Kind of little raspberry. Sweet. How did my fall off? <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. Hey, buddy, last time I was in here, because it was you we were looking at. Baba. 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 Look, I got three in there. <laughs> that would be a nightmare. Uh, okay, I'll help you right now, buddy. Lisa, Lisa. What, what is that? That's your, that's your brother or sister. <laughs> He's such a good talker. Uh -huh. Is that the little speck? Is that? Uh huh. Yeah, that's it. Oh my god. <gasps> I saw a heartbeat. I see a heartbeat. <laughs> okay, we're good. Yeah, familiar. One fifteen. Yeah. Okay. I was so worried. Just one, right? Just one. Oh, <laughs> There's a heart. Okay. Hey, congratulations. Mobile cough. <laughs> I hold your hand, but I'm getting punched in the head. I'm sorry, I'm laugh. Are you playing drums? Oh, there you go. A little, uh, little larva. So. Baby, big brother. When we got in here, David put him right there and he just started screaming bloody murder because he thought that he was at the pediatrician and he was going to get a shot. Nope. But then we found after David got the titties off the screen. <laughs> <laughs> that, which was an accident. It was just like the first thing that was <laughs> The clicked. nurse looks over and I'm like. First thing that clicked was I'm like, we can't even show you. It'd be too graphic for YouTube. <laughs> I was like, boobs. Anyway, uh, David found that sweet coloring thing. So now he's happy again. We're just drawing boobs now. <laughs> oh, oh, Ready to go home? Say, all done. Play? Yeah, we can go home and play. One, two. Say go. Say go. Come on, Dada. The star. He says hello and goodbye to everyone that walks through. All right, it's Mother's Day. We're gonna have breakfast, and it's gonna be so fun. Mm. That's what my husband's making for me for Mother's Day. Yeah. Thank you, babe. No problem. I love eggs Benedict. My favorite. Ooh, drinking mimosas. Gonna get so drunk. Also, this is my most favorite coffee cup ever. My mom got this for me uh, when I was pregnant with Ash, and it feels extra special today. Mm -hmm. Is that good? I like my smiley face breakfast. A little crooked, but yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, buddy. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. Round and round, the wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Well, we didn't we didn't film me opening Mother's Day presents, but David got me this made in Nashville, <laughs> really low. It says on Mommy's birthday, and look at that. Oh, there we go. Nice. This is so tiny. So little. Newborn. 
Squish the baby. Squish him. <laughs> oh, thank you for the hug. <laughs> All right, here we are again. Another day going to the doctor today. It's not like anything big. I'm actually not seeing the doctor. I'm just getting my blood drawn. This is a, that early first trimester genetic screen that I did last time. They just check for chromosomal abnormalities and also it reveals gender. So I'm excited and um, sort of, I don't know, this is like a nothing visit. This is blood work and then I don't hear anything for seven to 10 days. So who knows? On June 12th, Dr. Wayne well, it's like noon, past noon and whatever today day is. I don't know what can even speak. And I'm like, I have the worst headache ever. And I cannot get out of bed except for, <laughs> I was out of bed dry heaving for like 20 minutes. And technically, I guess I didn't throw up, but it was, it's like the last thing you want to do when there's already a bunch of pressure in your head and you're sitting there and it's just like so much worse. And I'm congested. I don't know what the going on but I hate this so today has been a really rough day of not feeling good the past few days have been pretty awful I thought I like got past it because when I was pregnant with Asher like week six seven were really bad and this time around I didn't really feel all that bad so I was like oh maybe I like got lucky but now halfway through week 10 it's really hitting me Super hard, all the same symptoms, but just a lot later for some reason. Hi, baby. But even though I don't feel good, today's a really special day. Oh. You know why? My genetic tests came back, so I did my blood tests oh, a few days ago. They're fast. And I got my results, meaning um, the information about uh, if I'm having a girl or a boy is there. But we're going to do a whole gender reveal for that, so I'm not going to look. But I did look to see um the results of everything else they do a lot of the um genetic tests and stuff just to you know make sure everything is good or god I, I can't even imagine like i've been stressing so bad about this um so i did want to know that so i scrolled through and i just put my like this beautiful art from asher there and i scrolled down do 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 um, and then you can see there where it says fetal sex. I'm gonna scroll so that that is off screen. We, we do not even see that on the screen. And then this is where it scans for um, all the different possible genetic things that I was stressed about. And it says negative for all of them. <sighs> so I'm just really relieved. Like, I don't know. I, it's not like I expected something to go wrong, but you never know. Like you never know what could happen and I was I was worried. I, I mean, I was stressed before I saw the heartbeat and then I felt better and I was stressed before these results and now I feel better and it's just, I feel like being pregnant and even, I mean, now that Asher's nearing two, it never ends. You just, you're always worried about something. You're always stressed about something and it just, but these are big moments. These are really big moments and I feel so much relief but we want to know also clearly we want to know all of the results and um in order to surprise ourselves last time around we did like the cannon of the like smoke that came out and we gave it to our friend joey and this time around i have had this stupid idea of like getting dog fur dye and then having nala come out either pink or blue <laughs> so i'm gonna have the neighbor come over now and surprise her tell her that i'm pregnant and let her look at the full this page right here that I have pulled up. I'm gonna let her look at the full results. And then maybe tomorrow, we will send Nala her way. And, <laughs> and then we'll call for Nala and she'll be a color. So this is gonna be exciting because I get to tell um, our, our neighbor and my friend and I'm excited. It's gonna be, I don't think she's gonna expect it. I think she'll be surprised. Who knows? All right, so this is what I have. This is the uh, pink one and this is the blue one because you never know. And then I also have little uh, bandana neck scarves for Nala. Obviously one of each, depending on uh, what happens, so. I'm intrigued. You're intrigued? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna give you something and I'm gonna ask for you to guess what the favor is. Okay. Okay. Here's one thing. And here's another 
you? Congratulations! This is not real life. <laughs> <That's fake. laughs> I told you she'd get it right away. So you already know? Like what? I don't. I mean, you don't, but like you're going to... You're going to be I the am, first to find I, out. I have the oh results. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. <laughs> so I am ten and a half weeks.